That looks like a second play. Oh my god. Trade Center have been hit by aircraft. Both are in flames. Both uh, suffered explosions. coming from both of the towers. Uh, it's a horrific scene here. Just getting word now. One of the two planes was hijacked after takeoff from Boston. This is. Our fellow citizens, our way of life, our very freedom came under attack in a series of deliberate and deadly terrorist acts. Today our nation saw evil, the very worst of human nature. The protest turned violent with windows broken and fires. It's truly an honor to participate in Urban Chill for the last two years and every time in the build up to the time when the actual event takes place, you go through a whole bunch of emotions. life scenarios that we go through, but by far the most extensive and premier training event that we do is Urban Shield. A massive manhunt has come to a dramatic the end. The County SWAT team staked out a cabin Bachelor had recently they identified for who it was, they engaged him, they shot him. Urban Shield is invaluable because of the realism of the training, and the types of tools we use. They'll do things with high-tech instruments that can search with really sophisticated cameras that can get into voids. There had been an intense manhunt for Allman since he opened fire early yesterday with an assault rifle and a handgun. Killing Police say they've six. shot and killed Sharif Allman. They used a helicopter with thermal imaging to look for him. Urban Shield is probably as close to real life as, as is possible. I've been involved with Urban Shield since the, the very beginning in different roles. The people who have not seen this kind of thing before are continually amazed at, at how accurate everything appears to be. Urban Shield is a great opportunity for our team to be presented with scenarios that we wouldn't normally have an opportunity to recreate in our regular training. Really, the venues that we train in are the same venues that we might participate in. We've got rapid transit stations, we've got critical infrastructure. Vehicle accidents, hazardous materials responses. The realism of these incidents that could occur makes it the perfect training ground. Get into this exercise, Urban Shield, has really helped us uh, do anything we need to do right behind the police officers to get these people to the hospital quicker. We bring all entities of emergency responders together to work in one environment where they don't know what they're getting involved in, and it shows the stress level that we all will encounter in a real situation. Working these problems together allows us to, to be more proficient, professional in our response, and hopefully save a lot of lives. 
the United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden, a terrorist who's responsible for the murder of thousands of innocent men, women, and children. Yet his death does not mark the end of our effort. We must, and we will, remain vigilant at home and abroad. As a country, we will never tolerate our security being threatened, nor stand idly by when our people have been killed. We will be relentless in defense of our citizens.